Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Nursery to Wear City. In today's video, we are going to talk about the CDC. That is basically change data capture. If you are working in uh, ETL or any integration or in data field world, you must have come across the CDC. Uh, and in this video, we will try to understand what is CDC and why uh, this is important. Okay, so let's start with why would you need something like CDC in the first place? Let's say you have launched your application which has some active user and that will keep on growing. Now being a competitive company, you are collecting that data uh, to give some insight about how your service or application is doing. You collect this data and analyze uh, this data further for your business purpose. Now the problem is that such analysis could involve uh, complex analytic queries and you never want to run this complex query against your master database because it will ruin your application performance and you don't want to mess up with the performance. Uh, hence, the, you need uh, another database which have all the data which is available in your master database is available to your new database. And hence you need some sort of mechanism which will make sure that whatever the new changes has occurred to your uh, master database is captured in your data science or the BI related database where you are going to run this all analytic queries. So we have talked about what is the problem statement. Now let's think about what could be the solution. One of the easiest solution come into the mind is taking a database dump. So easiest would be like you take a or export the database, master database and import it to uh, our new database. Uh, this work fine while your data size is small. However, it is starting limits uh, very quickly when your data grows. Uh, you will reach to a point where export and import uh, entire database is not uh, met with your business needs. Uh, so that's where the CDC come into the picture. As the name suggests, it's, it will only capture the change in the data. It, it's not deal with the entire data. It's just deal with the what changes has been occurred. And it will make sure like the, uh, the data analytic database and the master database is both are in sync and provide the more scalable and easy solution, which provide the near real time changes to data analytics database. So now we have understand what is the problem and what is the solution. Now let's understand how CDC actually works. Basically it involves uh, three sort of steps. One is very important capturing the, this change of data. So most of the uh, RDBMS solution provide a way to capture this change. Uh, one of the way is transaction log. So uh, most of the RDBMS solution provide a data replication which is basically uh, store the uh, transaction log uh, which is nothing but what are the changes made to a row like uh, if there is any insert, update or delete or as well any DDL uh, changes occur to a database this will be stored in the transaction logs and, and the advantage of uh, transaction log is that it has the minimal performance impact on the master database and we can use this transaction log uh, to capture what has been changed in the period of time in our master database. Another solution could be triggered. So RDBMS uh, allow us to create a certain hooks like uh, whenever any insert operation occurred, uh, it will capture that change. And, and you can uh, decide like on which action you want to collect the data using the triggers. Or you can uh, create your own solution uh, like creating some script to capture all these sort of changes. But again, the whole idea is to capture that part of information and then move to a second part that is transform the change data. Now, that is completely depend upon uh, what is your uh, end destination or what where you want to push this uh, data capture. And according to that, you have to uh, decide what should be the format of this data. Example, if you are putting in it again in some RDBMS, uh, the simple SQL query will be enough. But if you are putting it in uh, Amazon Redshift, then 
the just a simple statement are not enough you have to do some other many steps and then finally uploading the data so that is all from the theory perspective in the next video we will see the live demo and we'll try to build uh, some cbc solution uh, for very specific uh, like oracle database and postgres database how we can quickly build that solution and capture all this change data and put it to some destination so this is all for today's lecture hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any queries you can either comment in the comment box or mail us at the nursery to varsity at gmail.com you can follow us on twitter facebook linkedin and instagram and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay tuned thanks for watching stay tuned